Thanks for joining us here in the Fox 4 Weather Center. This is your 5 o'clock update. So I want to bring you the latest on the tropics. What's brewing out there? Of course, we are stepping a bit closer to the most active time of the season climatologically. Some good news, though, is that the one wave that we were watching for potential development over the next week, that likelihood has now dropped down to 0%. So at this point, it's going to be a rainmaker for parts of Central America, but thankfully no longer a concern for the southwestern Gulf of Mexico. Then, of course, we have Debbie, which has been sitting just off the South Carolina coastline. And with that center of circulation sitting just offshore, it's actually gotten a bit stronger. This time yesterday, those sustained winds were at 40 miles per hour. And right now, they're around 60 miles per hour, gust up to 70. It is slowly moving at just three miles per hour. Another landfall actually expected tonight after midnight, early tomorrow morning. And throughout the day tomorrow, it's going to be slowly crossing through South Carolina. Then as we head into your Friday, it's going to be rolling through central North Carolina, right up through the Charlotte and Raleigh metros, then into Virginia Friday afternoon. And then it's going to be Looking up with an approaching frontal system, so that'll really help it to move along a bit quicker. It won't be moving at a snail's pace this weekend. Still, though, could produce anywhere from three to six inches of rain from the mid-Atlantic up through the northeast Friday into this weekend. Flooding threats will continue as we head through the northeast. Definitely something we will be tracking for you here in the Fox 4 Weather Center.